learning about Moorhead. So we're going to talk about different developments in Moorhead because there's a lot and there's a wonderful website, the Moorhead website, and there's a sheet that you can go to. It will tell you um, all the different developments. So if you click on, go down on that screen. Were you just going to tap the TV? Down? I was. <laughs> I'm trying to do trace. Where so like go? there is, is it the city of Moorhead one? It must be. Click on the city of Moorhead there. Okay. I'm making the noise. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> Click. Oh, maybe it. But it does it. If you go in closer, it will actually tell you the it will developments. Close this map. So yeah, okay. it's a really cool develop. It's a really cool one. And Trace and I were looking at it, and you can tell that like the whole entire north side is named after people. Mm -hmm. So. Did you guys know that Moorhead was founded in 1881? I do now. And guess what? You have to scroll down because I wrote it down and I don't oh, remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> I have it memorized, okay? It was found, oh, 1871, I should Excuse say. Me. But it was incorporated in 1881. What does that mean to be incorporated? I don't know. It's a real city. A real like city. A, um, it's a real They board. have a... Yes. Oh, government. they actually have a government. I think of the name. Yes. yes. Like a mayor and a whole. Yeah. Uh, they're real. They're, they're real. Legit. But it was named after William G. Moorhead. Imagine that. Per the original. He was a director of the Northern Pacific Railway, which, gotta love Moorhead, because everybody talks about the railroad tracks when you go to Moorhead. <laughs> Not going to lie about that. Um, He's like, let me just put five, five train about. tracks in one town. <laughs> they talk about or they complain about the <laughs> Right. Trains. I can tell you the passageways. <laughs> so, um, did you know that Moorhead... Developed a reputation as Sin City. Everybody thinks of Las Vegas as Sin City. I think Moorhead was the first one because it had a hundred bars at a time. Okay, so can crazy. you imagine where they would even put a hundred right. bars? Just well, straight up name. Just bar, just bar, whole bar, way. Bar, 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 yeah, bar bar. bar, bar. But you think about it too, and the reason they did it is because Fargo at that time didn't sell alcohol. Jeez, Fargo. So everybody was coming to Moorhead, but. A hundred bars? Was there even a hundred people living here? Yeah. So I mean, you got a bar to yourself. Moorhead's always been the front loader for like booze. They yes. even stayed open until two first, and people would be crazy driving across the river. We can Cincy. drink when we're over there playing softball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not in Fargo. Well, you can in the parking lot. Super weird. Not cool. It is crazy. I'm telling you. What it else? Is. What else about Moorhead? Um, well, the average price in Moorhead is one ninety seven. Um, and that was as of the last absorption rates that were done at the beginning of the month of January. So our sales December. price on the home. Yep. Average day on market is 60 days in Moorhead. Um, they also have a great website called Make Moorhead Home, which goes into uh, like their parks, uh, everything great about Moorhead, all of the city. Um, obviously, they have a new mayor. His name is... Judd is the last name, I believe. <laughs> That's Did you thing. know that if you build a new house in Moorhead, they give you like a year of um, what golfing membership? They give you like pool passes. They give you like all these little perks for building a new home in they, Moorhead. They've got a nice pool there too, right off of 20th. The big pool, mm -hmm. yeah. And they have like a lot of little free wading pools, which I really like. Yes. They have like toddlers. They're not as crowded. Yeah, and they're kind of tucked away in neighborhoods, too. Mm -hmm. By the parks, those are always nice. nice. They have other um, property tax incentives, too, to get people to move there, especially with um, new construction, correct? Absolutely. But they also have some wonderful things for uh, fix-up loans, too. Um, they did a partnership with Gate City Bank last year through October where you could get um, a nice low interest rate for fixing up your house. Uh, I'm not sure if it continued, but there's other things, too, with... Um, Clay County Housing and Redevelopment Authority that's basically helping people on low incomes repair their roofs, um, windows, furnace. Isn't there a program to add like a second story to old houses in Minnesota? Somebody was telling me that they had like a friend who got to add on to their house because it was an older house. Hmm. Um, and that was through like a, a grant type program in Minnesota. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting, though, that they actually, you know, they want to help people stay in their homes, but they want to make sure their homes are safe, too. So, yeah, it's kind of a nice... A rehabilitation loan program. Yeah. Well, and it's good for uh, homeowners in Moorhead, too, because if the houses around you are rehabilitated, then your home value goes up, too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and we'll have all the websites on here as well, like Erin had said earlier, but you can click onto this 
Clay County HRA website link that we have and you can see the income restrictions within it too and all of the great things that go along with some of these programs. Right. So I'm going to tell you to click on that link right there. Minnesota Housing Fix-Up Loans or which one? No, the Moorhead Development one or Departments where it says, click then on click on Subdivisions. It's a great map. See, I have to, you know, have a lot cliff of websites posted notes. on this one. Yep. Cliff notes, because we all, if you go to the HBA one, it has the new developments. This one has every single development. And the north side of Moorhead is pretty much named after people. Like, like it was in Otto, oh. Bruns, um, what's the other one? Is there a Johnson neighborhood? Well, that Johnson that's Farms. Johnson Johnson Farms. That's south. Yeah. But there is, um, yeah. So if you scroll down on this one, this is the HBA one. Sorry, Anne. Nope, you're okay. My mouse is being Keep weird. going. Keep going. Keep going. We're right here in Moorhead. It just talks about the new ones, like Horage and Shores, um, Village Green, Shepherd Meadows. And a lot of these down south ones are really um, convenient, especially since they've added to 20th Street and it goes further south now. Absolutely. It's really convenient to get to them. Right, and you've got um, the new Hampton edition, too, down there. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yep. Up and they're nice, right by the nice school. Well, they really just developed a, a nice, like, little neighborhood where the Hornbachers is over there and Bruce mm -hmm. Brick House. Don introduced me to Cider Boys. That was Cider it. Boys. Cider whoop, whoop. Boys. We love Wisconsin. So that's a cute For cheese there. and Cider Boys. Mm -hmm. And, and there's a nice, there. like, spread of the different price ranges for homes in that area, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and specials tend to be pretty reasonable in mm -hmm. Moorhead. They are. I think the city, on the city website, it does explain to how their specials are assessed a little bit better. The, their city takes on a few more than we do. So um, in Fargo, West Fargo, the city paid more. Um, go back. Scroll down a little more because I swear it has subdivisions, addition and name. Click on that dude right there. Perfect. Now, and you got to pull it up because mm -hmm. it's crazy. But check this out. I think there's like 1,500 subdivisions there's in Moorhead. There's so many oh, subdivisions. Wow. They're all tiny and they're just like a couple blocks. Oh my gosh. Them. Right? But look at that. that. So when it says see above, like we're looking at Concordia right now. Mm -hmm. And in the Concordia, like probably like a loop. 10 block thing, there's 18 like, different, <laughs> different subdivisions. Colors, yeah. Basically like a strip yeah. is one subdivision and like Fargo, West Fargo, the subdivisions are pretty big. Right, yeah. they're spread out and these are literally just a row of houses or a group of houses, even just like a corner. So why is that, Don? I'm not sure. <laughs> I really am not. But it's they're cool. Just, they were like, Oprah, you get a subdivision and you, you get, get a subdivision. subdivision. Well, yeah. What's your name? You're now a subdivision. Right. <laughs> Where do you live? Moorhead Senior High. I mean, you know, it yeah, does. But it's nice. crazy that it has all of those. And it's like blocks are chopped up mm -hmm. into little itty bitty. There must be two houses in each of these. <laughs> and the green one. Right. And then you get down to like the meadows. And you can tell like obviously where, in more, where it started and how it's migrating south. Where they're like, okay guys, this is getting a little ridiculous. We're running out of names. I think I see where those 100 bars are now and you can see them. Yes. Just, they're all <laughs> one in each development. Right, but you know, people all... Oh, what if that was what it was? Like you, could like you had to have one, one bar. bar per development. Or <laughs> <laughs> These two houses right here, now Bren's development. That's a bar. Right, that's a bar. And they have a bar. Oh yeah, that's probably what they did, you know? Did you know that Eastgate even has its own development? And that used to be a bar, Eastgate development. Eastgate bar. Yeah. Is, that, huh. is that real life, Don? Oh, wow. I feel like it's you're right not there. certain because your voice started tapering off. <laughs> is that? Yeah. It is. It's right there. Is that bar, bar where the I think was? No, it's further up. Okay. Sorry. See, you got to look at our map because it's really cool. Don will be posting the map. I will be once I figure out. Mm, once we mm, show her how to post Technology. It. I'm not really good at that. But you found this, Don. But I did. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, a good, at this before. I'm a good researcher. Uh, and that's why we're doing these podcasts to show you that there is research that we will do, but you can also look at it too, because there's we're so probably, much information yeah, that we can't share it to you. Learning when you're learning. You don't know what you don't know. No. And if you want to move to Moorhead, we're not going to, you know, make you not live in North Dakota. If you're a Minnesotan, you can be a Minnesotan for life. 
And there, I feel like Moorhead's kind of like North Fargo. Like you are a lifer there once you move there. Because mm -hmm. you just yeah. fall in love with the uniqueness of it. Oh, Don, the thing I was supposed to talk about. What is the thing you're supposed to talk about? Moorhead is really working to become a culture hub. It's true though, because if you think about Concordia College for um, the Christmas concert and even just their overall theater. music theater, and then Same Moorhead, Moorhead State. Ha Moorhead High too, they have an amazing theater program. And then Trollwood. Trollwood. Mm -hmm. And Blue Stem because all the f concerts out there are amazing. Uh, yes. And it's cool to get married there, too. And it's cool to get. Are you sure? Are you yeah, saying that for really like, It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And Case Wave, too. Yep. So we know some people out there. But it's a great place. And, you know, if you want to live so, on the other side of the river, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. And we tell people you get more house for your money in Moorhead, we just pay more taxes. But if you're looking for a house under 250, it all washes out anyway. And what right. was the income threshold again? Like Less than 100,000? Yeah. Then you're good to go to be in Moorhead. If you're making over 100 Gs a year, you might wanna consider your options. Or just at least research, talk to your accountant. What? She touched my leg. <gasps> oh, children. Don't make me pull this car over. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes. so next time we're having seating arrangements, <laughs> uh, assigned seats. Don and I are not allowed to be up front together. I guess. These two are not allowed to be in the back. Together. How is that going to work? If we can't be up front and they can't be together, <laughs> it's see, not going to work. The next podcast will have no one. No one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I learned a lot going through all these developments. There's a lot of developments, and you just have to find what your wants and needs are for the neighborhood you want to live in. And then let us help you. Yeah, absolutely. So we might not, like, it's easy for us in West Fargo and Fargo to be like, I want to live in Osgood, or I want to live in, what's another one? Um, Eagle, Woodhaven. Eagle Wood. One. Eagle. So, but it, it's not quite so easy in Moorhead. We would probably like which more block specific are you looking? Yeah. about, like, by North the side. college. Mm -hmm. North side, south side, yeah. yeah. Unless you're out in that new construction area, because then they did make it more broad or around the golf courses then you can mm -hmm. kind of hone it in a little bit better right and if you have kiddos and you want to be near Reinertson elementary like johnson farms in the Ham new hampton place stone I mean, mill is stone nice. mill is over there or ellen hopkins has a spanish immersion that's unique to our area yeah, no, no other elementary yeah. school has it um moorhead is also open enrollment right Ooh. so you can go anywhere you just have to get your child there if they're not on the bus route. Oh, and they have that nice small town feel they only mm -hmm. have one junior high and if you need um assistance like mental health needs or special education special education mm -hmm. um they really got their stuff together too there's some uh, companies there that work in the schools well in minnesota is a little bit more liberal with that stuff so the resources are just there they're there yep yeah so if you have a kid with special needs moorhead moorhead might a good be better place to go yeah but definitely do your research, like we said, wherever you're gonna go. And I think they're working on some um, developments to the Moorhead Center Mall, from what I heard. Oh. Just kind of speculation right now, but I guess we're supposed to stake to We stake will stake to out Moorhead. permits online and we'll keep you updated. Something's happening in, start in, in the Moorhead Center Mall. Happening. Something's happening. So, I don't know where we're going from here. I don't know what our <laughs> I really don't know where our next <laughs> we'll podcast our is going to take us. How well, I'm yes. doing it. I think that it should be divergent. Divergent. Oh. Yeah, because it is such a big topic right now. And, with and Amber is, doing a lot. is doing like the nitty gritty research. And we yeah. actually have education next Wednesday on the diversion. Well, that'll be perfect. Yes. So that'll be perfect. We can so we'll have a lot of teach you. We, I just posted a blog. Diamond just posted a blog. Well, no, we haven't posted it. Aaron's it will be. Pro it. Proofreading said I'm blog. Reading today. And then we're going to post that, getting you a bunch of information. And we are going to keep updating that. So yes, it would be good to have one or two podcasts mm -hmm. on the diversion and get you that information and then you can refer back to that podcast as well and we're going to keep updating it because you guys it's ever changing and and one thing crazy. i should throw in there since we're talking about the diversion is when you are in moorhead you don't really need to worry about it because uh, i think everything's out of the flood zone in moorhead yeah. and if you are in the flood zone it's very 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 rare you're probably so. right on the river if you need flood insurance yes i had someone on fifth street the one way and they did not need flood insurance no. and that's pretty close to the river and i had somebody in tessa terrace no flood insurance north one side word, no flood insurance. one other thing about minnesota is they do have higher building codes 
which True. equals expectations. more. It costs a little bit more in your build, but they have stricter code enforcement. Yep. And they also protecting you. They also require mm -hmm. radon mitigation. North Dakota does not require that in new builds. In in new builds, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, See, crazy. That's how the diversion just throws us off. It just yeah, diverted. I know. I was I had the diversion thing, and I'm like, oh, we just ended up in radon. I don't know how to get back there, but um, just, we're just yeah. talking about it. We for just the, do it for the more. If you are living in Moorhead, we will be talking about how the impacts have changed too with the Plan B and how Minnesota's impacts have gone down with that new proposal and all the different benefits of that too. So it's still good to listen and to learn about all the reasons why it's so necessary for our entire community. It's, right. Because some it's people fine. are like, oh, that doesn't affect me because I don't play flood insurance. But it does because you're still, does. you're part of our community. So exactly. you should you be may informed. shop in Fargo. You know, yeah. Makes, that affects you. Yeah. Yeah. We're all in it together, you guys. We got to buck up. Yeah. Do the please, right thing. Please help us. Build the wall. I mean, what? diversion. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I would get you guys. Oh my gosh, she did not mean it that way. Please don't unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe. We are not I mean, super political. I mean, Donald's got hit. I got the spiky armpits. Beer. Right Her armpits are itching. We're all sweating. We're chugging beer. Oh, That's what you do on Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Oh yeah. my gosh. Hey, Mike. Okay, so okay. Mike. 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 So two weeks from now, we'll be talking about diversion, and we'll also have our drawing for where we were yesterday for TC Tasty Tuesday. Oh, I'm still full. It was such good, warm, comfort food on a <laughs> snowy, cruddy, schmurde. And who would Schmerde. think to put rhubarb on <gasps> top of a that was caramel? Crazy. It looks good. Like it looked it disgusting, was but really it was really bomb. good. It was, it was a bomb. Heaven in my mouth, good. It was good. So, I sure hope I'm down in weight. Tune in. Please subscribe <laughs> if you'd like to listen to us some more. A um, little bit about us. We are client-driven. We're not about how many uh, how many things we did that year. I My words are escaping me. Numbers. Um, however, we handhold. Don't worry about getting sloughed off. Like, sloughed off at some other teams. Um, and if you need to find us, find us at buysellfmhomes.com. Uh, Diamond Realty Associates Facebook page where this will be posted. And Tasty Tuesday info. Uh, and as always, stay, stay classy, classy FM. FM. Oh, darn, we're so Yeah, but we're gonna have your <laughs>